Hello and welcome to another edition of short videos on Jabra Vision application features. My name is Javed Tafal and in this short video we will talk about video plus uh, whiteboard mode of uh, whiteboard feature that is built in feature in the Jabra Vision application. To use this feature your application should be up and running. Um, we have a separate video that walks you through the installation and launch uh, process of the application. If you have not watched it I would suggest please do so. As you can see, there are two sets of icons for whiteboard in the Jabra Vision application. If you hover your mouse over to uh, either one of these icons, they would uh, show you the description of that. So number one is that um, high quality whiteboard only. We did a separate video for that um, in, uh, earlier and you can watch that one. So, and then in today's video, we will talk about the video plus whiteboard mode. So uh, let's get started. Once you click on uh, the high quality, um, sorry, the video plus uh, whiteboard mode, it would launch a set of controls uh, for you to define your whiteboard. Um, notice that the icon color changes um, and it would turn from uh, white to Jabra yellow. And it is pretty much true for all of the uh, buttons or majority of the buttons in that application. Um, if you've already gone and defined your whiteboard, it would relaunch that whiteboard. Uh, once you click on that button, if you have not done so, um, it would give you an option of, uh, it would give you a snapshot of, uh, of the entire room to define your whiteboard. But as in my case, uh, if I click on that one, as you see that the icon uh, went uh, uh, highlighted into um, uh, Jabra Yellow and the whiteboard got launched immediately. Now, as I mentioned, if you're uh, using it for the very first time, um, you can go to the uh, whiteboard setup button. Once you click on that whiteboard setup button, um, you will be presented with a snapshot of the, um, of the video, right? So you can go ahead and define your whiteboard as per the instructions uh, given over here. Um, you can define it, uh, simply just uh, follow the instructions, define your four corners of the whiteboard. You can go clockwise or you can go uh, counterclockwise. Uh, it uh, doesn't matter, uh, but I would suggest uh, as a best practice, try to maintain a uh, 16 by 9 or close to it aspect ratio uh, and not uh, select a whiteboard in an elongated fashion, which can adversely affect extraction and then uh, correcting it. But as you saw, as soon as I define my whiteboard, four corners of my whiteboard, the application extracts that region, um, orthogonally corrects it and presents it in a shareable window which is the white uh, Jabra whiteboard. The rest of the controls are pretty much the same what you have seen in the high quality whiteboard only uh, video. We have the brightness enhancement control uh, where we can click on that and it enhances the brightness, it increases the readability of that. Um, you can go ahead and uh, do contrast enhancement as well. Uh, if there's a very, um, you know, reflective surface or you want to enhance the contrast. Um, similarly, um, as, um, as we talked about in our earlier video on the high quality whiteboard uh, only mode, you have the capability to define three presets. Um, and those presets, just like you define a whiteboard over here, you can define a second whiteboard as well. So if this is my first preset, or actually um, I can go ahead and define my preset again, uh, whiteboard again, um, fairly simple. And then I can save that as my uh, whiteboard over here. And now I can click on that one. If I keep it pressed for five seconds, you would see the preset one saved. Now it is a saved preset. Now if I want to select a second um, whiteboard or a or a blackboard for uh, for that matter. I have a, a blackboard on my left hand side. I can go to my, I've already defined it, but I'll go ahead and um, go to the second whiteboard. It would be the same way. Um, you would go click over here. You can define your four corners of the white uh, of the blackboard. Once you define the, uh, the corners, um, you would see it immediately extracts it and presents it as a shareable content. Um, I can go ahead and save that. Again, uh, keep it for, uh, for four, four or five seconds and preset to save. Um, and similarly, I can define um, another region. Um, I can select uh, this uh, region over here, uh, which is quite far, uh, but it can extract that uh, region and brings it as an, presents it in a shareable content window. 
So, and then the, uh, the neat part is you can go from one whiteboard to the second whiteboard to the third region and, um, in, and you can share this um, uh, using the share feature of the application that you're using, whether it's uh, Microsoft Teams or Zoom. You can also um, save that uh, whiteboard uh, through a save, save snapshot button, which would save a JPEG uh, uh, file um, in a JPEG format, the exec uh, existing content of the whiteboard. You can also save your whiteboard on your desktop or whatever location you have selected through your settings as a JPEG file uh, and share it with your remote attendees. Since it is a live, um, since it's a live uh, whiteboard, you can save one whiteboard and then erase it and then continue to use it and save it as you um, go along. In order to close the whiteboard, uh, simply uh, click on that whiteboard uh, on the icon once and it would just simply close that application and then the icon becomes white again. That means that feature is no longer active. Um, if you're actively sharing the whiteboard, and happen to um, close the feature, your shareable content window will close and your video will be made available in the UCVC application. That concludes our video on the video plus whiteboard mode of uh, Jabra Vision whiteboard feature. Thank you for watching.